Welcome to this tutorial on creating a points-based gradebook. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create a points-based gradebook in your own course. Identify when it's appropriate to use a category in the gradebook and demonstrate how to automatically drop a grade. Let's get started. From inside my Oaks class, we'll choose Grades from the upper navigation. And from that drop-down, we'll choose Grades again. And we should be brought into the Manage Grades area. Now this is assuming that you've already been through the Setup Wizard and have chosen a points-based gradebook. So now what we need to do is we need to add our grade items and maybe some categories. So let's talk a little bit about categories to start off with. Under New, we have Item and Category. Item is the actual grade column. You grade items. You cannot grade a category. Categories are used for only two things in a points-based gradebook. First, organization. If you just like to have certain items grouped together, such as all of my quizzes together, all of my tests together, then you can create these categories for organizational purposes. But the other reason that you might need one is let's say I want to take all of my quizzes and drop the lowest two. So I'm going to create a new category and I'll name it quizzes. Don't worry about the short name. Don't worry about the description. Let's come down here to the grading and we are going to choose this distribution area right here. So I'm going to say distribute points across all items. This means it doesn't really matter how many I put in there, every single one of them is going to be worth, in this case, 10 points. So I'm going to say each quiz will be worth 10 points and I want you to drop the number of lowest non-bonus items, which is two. I want you to drop the lowest two quizzes that are in this category. So I'm going to choose Save and Close. So to recap that, I gave it a name and I chose this distribution. If I'm using this category as an organizational structure, I just have to give it a name and then I can choose Save and Close. And here's my category called Quizzes. And you can see that it's blue, like my final calculated and my final adjusted grade, meaning that it is not a gradable item. So that's categories. Again, in a points-based gradebook, you only need categories if you're dropping one or more grades or you just like to organize your things. All right, now let's look at items because these are the basis of your gradebook. From the blue New button in the upper left corner, we're going to choose Item because the item is the actual gradable entry into the gradebook. And we do have a lot of other grade item types here I'm going to recommend that you use numeric. It is the most common and it's the one that will tally into that final calculated grade column. If you feel like you need one of these other column types, please contact your instructional technologist. So I've clicked numeric and I'm placed into a form that looks very similar like other forms that we have within Oaks. The first thing I, I'll do is give this quiz a name. Next, we have the category. And because it is a quiz, I want to make sure I put it in my quizzes category. Now, this is important to remember, you don't have to put this into a category. In a points-based gradebook, you only need categories for two things. In this case, it is a quiz, so I am going to put it into the quizzes category. I've ignored short name. I'm going to ignore description. And as I come down here, you'll see that I can give it a maximum number of points. Currently, I cannot edit that, and that's because I placed it in a category that's controlling the grade, meaning that I told the quiz category to make every quiz worth 10 points, and that's what it's doing, which is why I can't change it. Next are these three items here, and they're only used every now and then. The first one, can exceed, means that for whatever reason, a student can get more than 10 points on this particular quiz. Maybe I've offered them a bonus question within the quiz and now they can actually get 11. If I want them to be able to get more than 10, I have to check this box that, can, that says can exceed. 
otherwise 10 is the maximum number of points that they can get on this particular assignment. The next is bonus, and you'll click bonus if this is an extra credit grade within their grade book. A bonus grade only affects the numerator. It does not affect the denominator of the grade book, meaning if my grade book is worth a thousand points and the students do everything plus the bonus, it's still worth a thousand points. If they don't do the bonus, it's still worth a thousand points. So it only helps them, it doesn't hurt them. And the last one is exclude from the final grade calculation. If I check this, then this 10 point quiz will not be counted in the calculated final grade. I'll leave them all unchecked for now. And then I have my grade scheme. My recommendation is to always leave it as percentage. You'll notice that you do have a way to add an Oaks rubric as well to this grade column. However, most of the time this is done at the assignment quiz or discussion level and not as often at the gradebook level. But know that you can add one of your Oaks created rubrics if you so choose. All right, we're going to scroll back to the top for a second and you'll notice we have a restrictions tab. While this is rarely used in the gradebook area, I did want to show you that this is where you can hide a grade column from your users. And then we have the same features that we have in many tools. I can save and close or I can do a save and new. I'm going to do save and new and I'm going to add one more quiz. I name it, I'm going to add it to the category, and that's all I have to do. I'm not giving it any points or anything else, so I'll say save and close. Now we're back in Manage Grades, and here you'll see that I have my category called Quizzes. I have two quizzes inside that category, each worth 10 points. Now I'm just going to add a few more things so that you can see the full gradebook. So here's my final gradebook. You'll notice that I have my quiz category with my quizzes in it, some assignments, and my final exam, and these are not in categories. But I wanted you to notice that I also accidentally put one of my quizzes outside the quiz category. In order to fix this, I just need to click the small drop down arrow next to quiz four and choose edit, scroll down until I see category, and put it into the quizzes category. So I'll choose save and close. And now you can see that my quiz is back up with the rest of my quizzes. So there you have your points based gradebook. Again, under new, we can choose category, which is your organizational structure or the item that allows you to drop grades. And I can choose item, which is the actual gradable item.